I know paramotor pilots are sometimes given grief for being a disturbance to wildlife or livestock. Well, here's a story where a paramotor pilot saves some livestock. This guy in particular. Thanks for following along. It's beautiful this morning. There's a little baby out there. We are actually in the truck now. We're gonna head over to that field that I saw that little baby calf. Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for following me along on kind of a, a unique adventure, to say the least. Uh, I filmed this about a year ago and I, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with the footage. Honestly, I didn't know if the cow was going to survive even. He ended up surviving, thriving, he's doing a great job. He's a little bit small for his age, he's about a year old and he's not as big as a normal cow would be at this age apparently. And I think that has something to do with him being a little bit malnourished when he was young. This is Wesley. He's one of the sweetest cows, uh, very friendly. The fact that I bottle fed him when he was a baby, um, he's been around me and my kids his entire upbringing. He's just a really sweet cow. He lets you come up to him, you can pet him. He likes to lick you, uh, very affectionate. As long as you're giving him food, he's like your best friend in the whole world. I named him Wesley after one of my favorite actors, Wesley Snipes, and he's a tough cow. So he's had to go through quite a bit to get to this point. Here's one of my favorite spots, but we're going to hold off on this spot for now because it's pretty early. I don't want to bother the neighbors too much. I don't do a lot of this kind of flying, you know, where I'm just buzzing down. I don't do a lot of that. And it is kind of cool, especially this time of the day. You see a little bit of a fog over the trees. The air is super calm. A little bit of rotor in this area. So you see where I feel bumps like this, and I was like freaking out, going, oh, this is not good. And now it's to the point where I trust my wing. Like the wing, the wing is going to dance around because the wind's blowing it. But look at my speed here, it's pretty slow. You know, my tremors are set to neutral. This is where I felt the most comfortable doing a quick car because I could just cut it hard and right down the line. Okay, so this is what we're going to do on our tests, all right? So I let off gas. Say my motor died right here. I'm not sure what my altitude. I'm probably about 1,000 feet, maybe 800. But you can see as we start getting up to this tree line, very impressive how far we can actually get. And now I feel really good about it, so I'm going to actually do some carving here. Oh, there's a little baby out there. There's a little baby cow. I wonder if he can walk. It looks like he was born too long ago. Poor little guy. I don't know where his mom was at. I hope I can herd this cattle over there. He hurts the cattle on the old paramotor. Okay. That big cow says, oh, I'm not too worried about you. Maybe I can kind of push this little guy over by them. So I was really skilled, like a two down, scoop off with my legs. And we can get him back over, no problem. Where'd that little guy go now?
Oh, there he is. I wonder if anybody will be home, but maybe I can swing by. Swing by later and help him out. Yeah, I don't want that poor little guy. When it gets hot out, it is not going to be pleasant if he doesn't have any water. Got to rescue the calf. Oh, man. What a dead cow. Seen all sorts of crazy stuff on this flight. I need to head out because of that little cow I saw out in the field. Uh, that thing could hardly walk and it was way far away from the herd. We are actually in the truck now. We're gonna head over to that field that I saw that little baby calf. If it was a month ago, I wouldn't worry too much because the calf would probably be just fine. But the fact is it has been in the high, no high 80s, low 90s for the last few days. And today's gonna be another hot one. I can't imagine that newborn calf is going to be able to survive uh, with conditions like that, especially being black and it's got no water or milk from its mom. So anyway, I'm hoping that the uh, people who own the property are the house that I'm thinking and somebody's home so we can maybe do something for them. Here appears to be the driveway, so let's check it out. Yeah, this is the right spot and it is way down there. So yeah, I would much rather not go walking down there. We can avoid it. All right, I see the front door. Let me check it out. Well, I knocked on the door. S somebody's in there. I can hear the TV going. And I don't know, it looks like an older person, so they're maybe not gonna answer just because they don't trust the situation. I called out and I let him know that about the baby cow and I told him I'm gonna drive out in the field quick and see if I can find it. I don't know if they heard me. They're probably calling the police right now. I'm hoping I can justify my actions based off of this animal that might be injured or it's gonna die if we don't do something about it, so. This is Tennessee and people are very particular on their property, which they should be. I don't want anyone driving on my property. It's way over by the fence line, so it's a little bit a ways across this field. We might have to get out and walk a little bit and try to find him. I definitely don't want to run him over. I see something. Is that the little guy? You see him? <laughs> I want to see if I can catch that little guy. I did my first hog tie. Get this guy back here. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Calm down. <sighs> Man, it's that little guy's strong. Even for being as small as he is. It's driving back up. He was just covered in flies, that poor thing. Maybe I can get him up there. Get him some water. I don't know. Yeah, he's probably scared though. Whew. Yeah, he kept fighting. He doesn't bite or kick, but he just, he's tough. He's a little bit bigger than I thought he was from the air because it looked like he couldn't walk very well, but I think he's just malnourished. So I'm gonna knock at the door one more time here. Let's see if I can get a hold of someone in here. I really don't want this cow. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I am not able to get a hold of anybody in there. I'm hoping this little guy's gonna be okay. I don't want him jumping out. So I've got a little bit of property. I'm actually gonna take this little guy home, secure him, give him some food, some water, and I will get a hold of these. Uh, hopefully that's the owner. I'll get a hold of them a little bit later today and see if I can track him down and I'll run this cow back over. But it's kind of scared and I don't think I could really tie it up somewhere. It would probably break free pretty easily. Uh, it's not like a dog where you can just tie it to a fence post. <laughs> so anyway, I've got it hog tied in the back of my truck right now. And yeah, he's a squirmy little guy. So I guess they've got that fighting instinct like they should. Okay, let me start out by saying watching YouTube clips on how to feed a baby calf are much different than the reality of trying to feed a baby calf. This little guy was very apprehensive, probably because I did kidnap him from the field, hog time, and throw him in the back of my truck. So I guess I can kind of understand the apprehension. Uh, he could smell the milk though, and you could tell he wanted to get close to it, but he was just a little bit nervous about the situation. So I literally spent two hours trying to coerce him to come over to get comfortable with me. There was a few times where he kind of tried to ram at me, you know, just his instinct of I'm a human and he's an animal. So I decided to go a different route and just start to pet him, let him get comfortable with me touching him and being close to him. And then eventually he warmed up to the bottle. Once he latched onto that thing, it was very difficult to get that out of his mouth. He was so thirsty. I think I went through about a three pound crate of dry formula, which you mix with water. So it probably made two, three dozen gallons of formula within three days. He just sucked it down. So I've asked myself a few times, if I was in the situation again, would I do everything the same way? And I definitely would. I did talk to the property owner. Due to the mother passing, he did not have the capability to care for the calf. So he said, I can have it if I'm willing to do the work. It ended up being a lot of work, a lot more work than I thought. Six to eight weeks of bottle feeding. So to give you a little update on Wesley here, this is the cow that I saved from the field last summer doing great. He's much bigger than he was back then. Uh, he's a friendly guy. Hungry all the time, but it's been a good cow. So this is her girl. This is one of the girl's sheep, Oreo. We did not rescue him. We actually got him. Uh, they wanted just a pet. They've had rabbits before. And then this is sweet little Annie. So I come in here to work in the barn and all of them join me, including my dog. So take a little zoo in here. Anyway, that's our update on Wesley.